close your eyes and try to get on good terms with your breath. Breathe in a way that feels good coming in. The washes tension out as you breathe out. Because you need a place to stand. And if you're not on good terms with your breath, what are you going to be going on good terms with? The mind runs around trying to find some place where it can let rest. If it can't rest inside, it's going to go running around outside. The breath is the closest thing to the mind, and it's a, something that you actually can exert some control over. There are a lot of things in life you can't. So try to be on good terms with it. Be friendly with the breath. Listen to what it needs. Provide what it needs. And it'll provide help for you. Of course, as with any friendship, sometimes this takes time to get to know how to listen, to be familiar. You can't just walk right up to somebody, shake hands, and be instant friends. You can be friendly, but you're not really friends. So start out by being friendly with the breath, and eventually, though it's more than just shaking hands every now and then, you want to stay there a long time and listen to what it needs, and keep adjusting it whenever it needs adjusting until everything is just right inside and the mind can settle down. Stay with the breath, stay with that sense of ease. That's where you can really rest. Resting in a way that gives the mind strength. Sharpens your mindfulness, sharpens your alertness. I mean, you can rest and sleep, but it doesn't sharpen anything in terms of mindfulness and alertness. In fact, sleep is the opposite. You want the mind to be still but sharp at the same time, so that any little thing that comes up, you can see it and deal with it. And this helps you deal with a lot of emotions that could come up that otherwise would you wouldn't notice until they were taking over. But here you can notice a little stirring, and you can breathe right through it. Another little stirring, you breathe right through it. This way the stillness and the alertness work together. They turn into discernment, the kind of discernment that really can make a difference in your life, that the discernment that the Buddha was looking for, the discernment that can help put an end to suffering. And you start by with the little tiny sufferings you've got right now, little tiny pieces of stress. Work through those. And you find that basically the same principle applies all the way along. It's just you get more and more refined, more and going deeper and deeper into the mind. So try to maintain this sense of stillness together with alertness. The Forest of Johns compare it to be, being like being a hunter. The hunter has to be very still so as not to scare off the animals, and very alert so that when they come by he'll know. In the same way things are going to come by in your mind. You want to be still so you can see them and alert so you can deal with them. Try to get this combination just right.